Hey there, party people. Today I want to cover uh, rallies, rallies against barbarians. Um, we had the barb uh, event today, and uh, my alliance, along with some others out there, uh, having a hard time figuring out how to fill. I uh, keep getting questions on how to, um, what do I need to take a level six? What do I need to take a level seven? All that stuff. So here are some of the uh, the tips and tricks and things to think about when doing rallies. First of all, size matters. Um, the larger the rally, the better chance of success. If you have a large rally and lower bonuses, uh, you still have a shot at getting it. Uh, if you have a really high bonus and a low rally size, um, less chances of getting it. Um, troop matchup and formation, all of that uh, goes into it. Um, if you see here, um, this is the bows behind swords. Okay, so uh, just in what to send here. You might be tempted to send um, all horses because horses in the front will uh, match up good with the other horses and they're better than the swords. Um, I've seen counters of this with bows behind swords um, with horses front and archers back. Uh, that is not the right formation. Um, what you see is the right formation is here. Now this formation is the, I think this is cab shock is what this thing is called. Uh, you put spears on the outside. Uh, there are three horses across the front. You do one squad of faction yeomen and then uh, four of the archers. That way you get spears against the horses, you get horses against the swords. The thing that makes uh, bows behind swords hardest is that while the melee are fighting it out, you have a whole back row of archers um, digging in. Uh, so you really need to make sure you've got the troop matchup. Uh, the other thing that I see a lot of people make the mistake is for the melee front, they use uh, line advance. When it's something really hard like this, like this formation, you want to use uh, nerves of steel. So that brings me to the other thing, tactic. Tactic and the battle plans associated with the tactic are very important for success um, in your rallies. Okay, so how do you fill a rally? This is what drives me the most insane of anything. Um, so let's start out with uh, just your basic formations here. With sticking with the cab center that we just talked about. You see what what is by default, whether it's melee or range, right? Now range can either be siege or archer. Melee is everything else. When you fill this, the tendency is to tell people the entire layout. The problem is if you were to send factions, I just sent one squad of factions on my current setup that's 112K. That's really low. So if we were sending a rally and we were having March size versus encounters boosts set and March size set, you would send maybe 220K. When the total March size for me, which was 6.56 million, only one of these squads is going to be yeoman. So you don't need everybody to send yeoman. You need two or three people to send yeoman. And then that way it fills correctly. Um, otherwise, you end up with more. And what happens when you send more than one squad? So if my total march size is 6.56 million on a rally, that means there are 10 squads, each squad is one tenth of that, so 656K. So the minute that I get to 656K, right, you'll notice on a march against a player, it automatically takes the total march size and divides it by 10. How That's how big each squad is. If you were to send a rally and somebody sends too many yeomen, for example, since there can only ever be one squad, it'll show 656K when up to a million or more have been sent, that takes off 
the total rally size. So even though it appears that there's only 656K sent or one tenth of the entire March size sent, that means that that squad is full. My recommendation is when you go to rally, designate two or three people to add the faction units. Other than that, only tell the rest of the players to send the regular units. And then that way as they fill, they can pay attention to as one unit gets close to the one tenth size, they don't overload it. The idea is that if your total rally size is 6.56, you want that march to be 6.56. Now, if we look at one of my reports here, uh, you can see a perfect example of how that didn't work. Now this here was a 6.56 million rally size, but we had too many people send uh, factions. So it reduced it from 656 to 598. That's half a million troops. And we are going up against a 36 million uh, level seven resistance. That is not gonna work out. I even had pretty decent spear stats with 4112 health, 3839 attack. Um, Yeoman was about 3,000, 3,000. So if that's a 656 rally, we probably take this. The difference is the size. As I go back to size matters. The problem was that the size of the squad was limited because there was too many yeomen and not enough of anything else. As you look here, um, there's, if you play it, it said in the beginning of this that there was um, 656K of the yeoman, but there was only 547K of the spear. So it takes the average of all the squads and, and that's how big the march size was. Okay, so that is how not to fill. So to cover again, one, two or three people designated to send faction units other than that, just tell the rest of the players joining the rally to send the regular units and keep an eye. That way, that if they need to fix, they can fix. You know who are designated to send faction. If there's too many faction, you can have them adjust. Remember, in five-minute rallies, this happens. This seems to happen in 30 seconds. Five minutes is so fast when you're rallying. Okay, uh, so that is how to fill things to watch out for the factions. Okay, a lot of times I get asked, how do you, how do you um, make your stats, uh, your bonuses go up? Before I get into that, I want to talk about the most important bonuses. The most important bonuses are the health of your front line, your melee troops. And after the health of that is the attack of your range, whatever's behind that. Um, that's the next most important Faction is important. Faction can really save you. It could be the make or break between a successful uh, or unsuccessful rally. The problem is there's only one squad, so you can only spend so much of your uh, of your time or your gear or, or bonuses on faction because uh, it's only one of ten. Um, okay, so here are all the things uh, that go into getting your attack and um, health stats up. Remember, a resistance base is an encounter as far as the game is concerned. So you set one portion of your gear to the rally size. In the game, you have a helmet and you have the rally trinket. Those are the only two things that add the overall rally size. Everything else, that is in this gear set, you need to set for March size versus encounter. The difference between March size versus encounter and squad size and rally size. Rally size is the maximum amount of troops that you can send. Squad size is only for player versus player. It is the squad size uh, when, when sending against another player. March size versus encounters is how many of your troops are contributed per squad each time you click.
okay so that's the maximum amount you can send and that's only versus an encounter okay so that's the difference between all of those you set up for rally size if you start your rally you need to be in rally size because again size matters the largest rally size you can get you start that rally you must pick the correct tactic and the correct formation to counter um, the the barbarian formation now once you have set your rally then you need to have i usually have one um gear set that i label something and then i change it completely but this was for uh bow behind swords this was to set up for um the highest across the stats now when you're sending a counter that has multiple troop types the best things that you can use are things that affect stats versus encounters. So if you're looking for a boot, you know, you might look for, you know, cav attack and health. And that's, that's great because it's got attack and health and range attack and health. But health versus encounters is all of your troops. So anything that's versus encounters. So when I come in here and I want to do something, I just type in VS. That gives me all of the versus encounters, right? So the most of these pieces of gear are set for versus encounters to make sure that the overall stats are as high as possible. The next thing that you need to set or make sure is already set is talents. If you're a level 80 champion and you've done all of your research, you have 1,074 bonus points to use, allot them towards all of your melee, all of your range, meaning archer. Don't worry about anything against health or attack versus a player or enemy. That doesn't matter when you're doing encounters. Uh, it doesn't matter when you're doing rallies against barbs. Um, okay, so set it all like that once you have it set like that uh you can just leave your talents alone the other thing you need to do is paragon when you have your paragon set you want to do versus encounters attack and health then you want to do overall army attack and health and then your primary um melee health and your ranged attack that's the precedence there um the other things that you can do is if you have the uh, cloak that is right here, strength versus encounters, this stacks, right? So up to five times you hit five encounter camps before you start your rally that will stack this cloak. That, that will get you up to um, 100 because I've got the gold and it's 20% per. So five attacks is 100%. Um, attacks versus encounters so that raises that stat up you always want to stack the cloak if you have it uh, the other things you need to do are over on your stats you need to use the epics which are 200 percent um, and then the army these will add also um, the other thing you can do is specialized army this is what happens in those war effort chests you get um, cards that will add these up if you have the 100s use it for your primary melee so if you have three horses and two swords use the horses um, if you're doing all archers use the archer if you have all swords do the swords you know that's how you get that up the other thing you can do is come into items go to alchemy and click war and you'll see these different cards here now the let's say you've got uh cab that's 25 percent. that's good right that's not terrible, but you get 35% if you get the encounter. So if you're like me and you do a lot of um, lotto, you have a bunch of the VIP one days, all that stuff can be turned into uh, this currency that can be fused together and give you better bonus. So you wanna get all that set right before you set the rally off, you set the rally off in size and you immediately switch over to the attack gear and there you have it. That's the best way I can tell you to attack. The key is the matchups. Um, I always try to get the uh, beneficial matchup for the encounter that you 
see. Uh, good luck, happy hunting, and uh, go out there and get that gold.